Hello and welcome back Squirrel Nation. I hope you're having an outstanding day. Today I'm going to teach you the greatest lesson you have ever learned. Grab your notepad, grab your pencil, grab your pen and get ready. Because today I teach you how to lose and lose like a pro. Okay, it's just a little kidding, little, little clickbaity whatever. Probably not clickbaity. I don't think most people want to click on loss, but anyways, today's video is going to be about lose streaking. Um, so this is a strategy that I picked up once again from very, very high level players, a bunch of queen players. I saw them doing this. So it's something I wanted to mix into my kit. Uh, traditionally, you know, I've said it before, I don't like lose streaking because it wasn't consistent, but that was because I was doing it wrong. So what I did is I studied how to do it and I'm going to share my findings with you today. Okay. Hello and welcome back everybody. Um, yeah, today we're going to dive in. So I have something, um, th th this video is either going to go amazing or go terribly and you can all laugh at me, but I am going to, uh, do a lose streak today. And the reason for this is basically, uh, yesterday I was playing and I played a game with two of the top five players on the server and both of them used lose streaking. So I feel like it's apparently lose streaking is a very important strategy or it's, it's a tool that you need in your kit if you want to be really, really successful at the top of ladder. So um, I have never personally been able to do too well with lose streak. So I basically need to practice. And this is like creative destruction. I keep mentioning this to all of you because I see people all the time talking about like win rates and they talk about um, they focus so much on their their rank and they get super stressed out if they can't get to the rank that they really want to get to whether it be like it could be bishop it could be rook it could be king it could be queen um but a lot of times people just aren't willing to take a few steps back so that they can improve in the future so anyways that's kind of been me to be quite honest and that that's the point i'm getting to is i am currently describing myself um it it feels bad to practice these things, but I'm forcing myself to practice them. But here's the good news. So I probably dropped, I was like top 40-ish, and now I'm like just inside top 200 from practicing this. So I have dropped quite a bit. I've dropped about, I'd say a hundred, a little bit over, a little over a hundred trophies just from trying to practice this strategy. Um, but I think I've kind of figured it out. And the way that I did that is one, when I was playing against the top, top people doing it, I recorded the videos, I watched them. Um, I actually have that recording. I could show all of you. If you are interested, you can let me know um, and we can look into that. But anyways, we are gonna start out. So by the way, first note, with this start, I probably actually wouldn't go for a loose streak because I have goblin, I have pairs of the two strongest goblins in the game, but um, like I said, this video is for showing this strategy, discussing it, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, okay, so one, I'm looking at my items, because what do my items fit? Two, I'm thinking about what builds, uh, lend themselves to lose streak. So the two builds that I have found that are the best for lose streaking are Feather Assassin and, uh, Glacier Knights. Uh, Dragon Knights is okay. But it is, it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's harder because it doesn't dominate the same way that Glacier Knights do when they get ahead. So anyways, um, empty bench, empty board. I'm getting the extra interest. I'm only going to grab things that fit into what I'm going. And right now, and here's the other cool thing about this strategy, is I just watch the screen. So I don't care what's happening on the board. I know I'm going to lose. I'm actually just watching what everybody's doing. And while I'm doing that, it gives me time to decide what are the counters? What are, what builds should I go for? Um, so like I said, right now, Feather and Dragon Knight, ha or sorry, uh, Glacier, Glacier Knight have been what I found to be the most successful. But uh, another one is Warrior. So, and Divinity Mage. Um, I personally haven't got a chance to really use them yet. But when I have been watching those top players and I've been playing against them, uh, that's what I see. I, I, I saw them, some go for Divinity Mage, and I saw some go for um, the Six Warrior. So, I'm on to what I think is the key if you want to start running these type. And actually, I'm going to start picking up pieces that I see. So, I want to stay at my, my interest level. So, I want to stay at 20 gold. 
I will pick up that one piece because he uh, is a critical piece if I go six warriors. And so now I'm watching what other people are doing. I'm predicting what they're going to do. It looks like we have a lot of druids, which means we're probably going to have a feather player. Um, we also looks like we might have an assassin. So right now it looks like we're going to have an assassin player, a druid player, um, a marksman player, a knight player, and probably two hunter players. So I'd say my prediction, two hunters, uh, a glacier knight, and probably a feather team. So one feather druids, uh, and then a feather assassin. So now I ask myself, so here, here's another thing. I can sell him and go to 30. And in this case, I think I will do it because yeah, I still haven't really decided on anything and I'll just get that extra gold. And um, you can pick pieces up by the way. So say I was getting a bunch of like Glacier Knight stuff, I would have been picking them up. It's just, I haven't been offered. I could pick up these feather things, um, but I'm actually gonna not go for feather just because the last video, I think, the last video is also uh, six feathers, so I, I don't want to just keep doing the same comps for you guys for these videos. Um, so maybe I will try the warriors if I get a chance, because the warriors are going to do good against the hunter teams, and they're going to do good against the assassin team. And we're for sure going to have multiple warriors, and we're for sure going to have an assassin team. And then feather, they can also do pretty well against. So I think the warriors would be a pretty reasonable target. Okay. So, there we go, and then we can grab them. We're not messing up our interest because we're at 39 gold, so no matter what, we can't get to 40. So I can pick up the warriors, and here, here's the key, okay? You, you do an empty board and a very minimalistic bench until round 10. Round 10 is the golems. By then, by uh, you should be almost at 50 gold. For sure, you should be at 40 gold. No matter what, by round 10, you should be at 40 gold. Um, and depending how minimalistic you kept your bench, you may be higher. But anyways, so um, round 10, I am going to put stuff on the board and I want to beat the golems, right? Um, sometimes you can actually beat the golems depending on how much you picked up. In this case, it's pretty unlikely. And actually, I'm going to grab these just uh, because it doesn't mess up my gold. And like I said, at round 10, so next round, we are going to want to attempt to... Um, grab things so we got that so now if you look we have two gold this is five gold uh seven eight so or wait five seven eight yeah so we have eight so we can't make it to the next one anyways and like we were saying in this case i can grab that i can sell that to go to 40. the queen of pain is not going to be in my build but right she is very strong for low cost and at round 10 i can have that probability of killing the golems okay so anyways, we're at 40 and bam, we're going to hit 50 gold at round 10. Okay. So this is like the, the optimal, the optimal play, right? You bam. Okay. So now if you look at my health, I'm, uh, 58 health. I'm going to hit, have 50 gold. So 50 gold by round 10 and I'm at 58 health. Um, while you're doing this strategy, try to track these things. Like maybe keep a piece of paper next to you and take note, um, the reason you want to do that is because it will, in one second, let's, so I could buy a one cost. I think we are going towards, I'm just designing what one cost we want to buy. Um, and once again, we're just trying to beat the golems and we're staying above 50. I do want to put items out. Um, let's get it on her and let's go here and here and there. Okay. I just want to use the items. I, I want to optimize my chance of killing the golems and uh, Phantom Queens are not going to be in my long-term plan. We have decided that I'm going to build towards six warrior because I don't see anybody there. Okay. There's one person going for warriors. They have a werewolf and a doom, which kind of sucks, but warriors is very flexible and it's okay to share. So we kill one goal and we lose to two. So anyways, round 10, note your health, note your level of gold and note how you do well, uh, against golems. And I think these are important things because they're going to let you, um, see how well you're doing, um, and let you make. Uh, adjustments to the build okay so I could pick up these and this is the part where um, there we go and now let's go like that okay so now I level well okay actually let me it depends is it the true answer so 
Actually, I might go Divinity too, interestingly. I could go Divinity Mage. So if you go, it depends the comp that you go. If you are going to comp that requires epics or a lot of epics, then you want to use your economy to get to level eight quickly. If you're going for a comp that has a one cost that's uh, very important to it. So like if we go Divinity here, then I can roll at level six or I could roll at level seven to build up my team to stop losing my health. Um, and then that way I can get like a three star and I can defend my health. So at this point I am, I'm gonna opt a low roll here just to see because I kind of am in between stuff. So these are all good things. That is a good thing. Um, that would be good if we want to go that way. So I think I am going to go Divinities because I am getting offered uh, things that will fit well in Divinity. <clears throat> and, okay, so there we go. And I'm, I was getting offered a lot more Divinity stuff than I was getting offered um, Warrior warrior stuff, right? Because with Warriors, I'm really looking for like, if I could get a Pirate Captain, if I could get a Werewolf, right? Uh, something like that. Like a Werewolf Tusker is a really nice start. So... And, and you can see this is perfect. I'm losing, but I'm barely losing, and I have a three gold lose streak. <clears throat> so th this is a great spot. And um, anyway, so we keep rerolling. At a certain point, we're going to start winning. And then from there, you try to go into a win streak. And yeah, we're definitely going to go for Divinity. Um, I don't want that. But let's see. Uh, Divinity, I can't use that. And wow, we do get our... Um, Okay, nope. So what we're going to do is I am going to start switching some of these things in here. And uh, grab those. I am not going to keep him because I do want to keep my um, Thunder Spirit. And so for me, this is not a build that I've tried yet. So I'm going to actually have to think about this a little bit more. Um, so bear with me. So anyways, we're 50s. And the other thing to keep in mind is we are, level-wise, we're basically even with people, even though we're not spending on it because our economy is so crazy and we're going to get ahead of them and level pretty quickly here. I would like to hit my Divinity. And there we go. Perfect. And grab that and grab that. And I am not going to go that way. Now I am going to start switching things in. Let's put him here. Um, we need to switch out our Queen of Pain. That's fine. Um, get rid of it, right? And we can... Actually, let's do this. And boom. Okay, so that... And actually, see there, we could have leveled. Um, and I and I could add something else in, but that's fine. So we'll, we'll have our loose streak for one more round. So now I'm down to uh, 33. So I'll probably be around, I don't know, 20, 20 something health. If I'm still at 30, uh, that's looking really, really good. But you can see we're getting closer and closer to winning. Oh, if he would have ulted, that would have been really nice. We would have barely lost health. Okay, so this is at the point where I hit level 7. I'm still econed up. And we can really start trying to uh, push. And let's get our stuff onto people. And yep, grab it. Uh, roll up. Nice. Nope. Yep. Yep. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do here is we are going to move up, advance our position, throw her in. I think something like, let's go like something like this. And we can hopefully get our divinity back up. And I am being very slow about all the, oh man. And it's uh, the wolf round. I'm just, my, my, my focus is not good because I'm not used to this build. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so we're still going. Um, we are beating the wolves, which is really good. Um, yeah, so, so far this is pretty much what the games look like. Um, the only difference is normally I'm doing it with something, like I said, like a Glacier Knights or a um, Feather. So I'm just more used to them for like what pieces I'm looking for, but it's okay, we'll pull it together. So now I got my low cost pieces I want. I got, right, I got my Skybreaker. Um, we got our uh, Divinity, we, we can get our um, Desperate Doctor. Now I can start leveling up and then switching things, or I can keep going for a little bit to try to fill in. And I think I'm actually going to try to fill in some more 
because we still, wow, I'm just getting offered so many. There we go, there we go. Just take that out, and there we go. Okay, now I feel more comfortable. We're probably gonna start uh, winning from here on, I would guess, or I'm, I'm hoping to be quite honest. So after wolves, uh, you can win before wolves depending on how things go, but in our case, it just is the way it played out. Yep, so there's our first win. So, and also let's see, we're fighting first place, so that's a good look for us and notice we're dominating first place. Okay, so here's the key. From here on, it has to be a win streak, I can't lose. Um, if you notice, only one other person is level seven, or two other people are level seven, um, and one of them is a low economy, the other one is high up on economy, but he's also low on health. So anyways, here we go, we level, boom, boom, boom. And we just stay patient here. Um, let me see if I can optimize my formation at all. I think we can do something like this. Um, actually, no, I actually, yeah, I think I was pretty happy where we were. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. So what I'm really looking for, oh, and I need to use, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, I'm being really bad about using my pieces, but anyways, uh, no, I don't want to put it on him. We'll put it on there, and this will go on our divinity. Okay, so anyways, um, I'm looking for a Storm Shaman for sure, and oh, unfortunately this... Wait, what? Oh, we just fought him. Is it RNG or did he power up? Uh, let's see. He might have powered up. So yeah, he, he went to hit level 7, and then he had a 2-star to put in, so that worked out well for him. Um... But, so, our greed there, and I, I was greedy not to go to 8, basically, so now we go to 8, but now from here we do have to uh, essentially roll, and I can use that as a placeholder, and yes, I'm looking for, bam, I want that, I'll take that. Actually, in this case, there we go, and we sell him, and I'm gonna front him up, actually. Actually, let's front him up, what the heck, there we go front him up like that and hopefully he gets his alt off quickly enough okay it looks like slow because it's another divinity but he does dodge the uh, silence which is nice bam gets off the alt that should just crush them boom 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 bang booty how are we doing looks like we're doing good so i did get a little bit lower on health than i would like uh 13 i like to be around 20 the reason i like to be around 20 is because it gives me time to adjust and I think I might uh, get rid of the Thunder Spirit just so I can have more gold to reroll. Um, Siren is something that's nice, but uh, yeah. It just kind of depends how the game is going. Doot, 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 doot. There we go. Nice, beautiful. Okay. And here, let's adjust our formation. Like, actually, no, let's go like this. Yep. Okay, so we got that, and now I need to decide what... So these can be switched out, this can be switched out for my Storm Shaman when I get him. Um, and I think we'll get rid of that. Baby Dragon. Eh. Unlikely. But yeah, see, the Storm Shamans are going to be a pain. And how are we doing against others? Okay, so we beat both, but we fought the lower people. I'm more worried about the top person. Um, anyways, I think what I'm gonna do, uh, th this team comp I'm not as comfortable with, so I, I'm hesitant to econ, but I think I need to econ to 50, and then I'm thinking of going to 9 for divinity. Divinity tend to do well the more, the higher you get, and I can just mix in epics, um, so I think that is what we're gonna do. Okay, that's good. That's an upgrade. So yeah, we're just gonna, and, and that makes me more confident, because now we're all at two stars except for our legendary. Um, I'm pretty happy where we are at. So we do that, and we're looking for that. We're looking for one of those. If I get another God of War, I'll switch out one of the Skybreakers. We can look at our DPS chart. Um, yeah, just see how things are doing. But there we go, and Baby Dragon, I don't think you're going to make the cut, and I already have my three mages, and that's really why I was holding Baby, and actually we're going to sell him so that I can be at 30 gold. Uh, very unlikely for me to get a three-star Razor Claw, and at this point I have other gold, I have other more pressing things to do with my gold. Okay, 
So Storm Shaman will be wonderful. I would love to hit another Storm Shaman. And here, yep, we're going to keep Econing. My win streak, unfortunately, is only at one um, because we did, unfortunately, get our win streak broken by the top player. But anyway, so he went six Warrior, so we should counter him pretty well. Uh, Divinity Mage is something that is obviously very, very strong if you can get there. And we got to a really nice point since we did get our God of Thunder. Um, so we should be doing pretty well. I'm just watching one. So the other person went to nine, the other low person, and then two other teams are at eight. So we should be fine. And then I'm looking at quality. The not, the person who went to nine still has a bunch of one stars and they're also six warrior. So they shouldn't give me problem. Um, the other eights, once again, they also have a bunch of one stars, right? They have three one stars per team. So they shouldn't be a worry. Um, so yeah, we should be good to sit here in Econ. Devastator is, yeah, he's something nice to have for sure in Divinity, and I can put him corner. Uh, basically, I'm looking for one of those. I might even, I don't know, maybe I should even switch him out for the Skybreaker. I think sometimes I'm too safe about having tanks in Divinity Mage, so I think we may try that. And, boom, okay, nothing, we're Econing. And yeah, on that note, let's try it. Here we go. Um, I want to keep... I'm trying to think for assassins. She'll move out this way. Yeah, this is okay against assassins. And I could also then sell him if I want for the... Uh, to get back above 50. And who do I want this on? Uh, doesn't really matter, honestly, on this team. Because I'm not going for armor, so whatever. We'll just put it on the uh, Devastator. So this engagement looks pretty good once my ultimates start going off. Okay, there we go, the bomb. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Alt again, God of Thunder. Ooh, no, no. Kill one. Okay, whew, okay. That that was almost game. Um, and unfortunately, there goes our win streak, and that was last place too. Okay, and that was RNG. So we absolutely destroyed them from their side it's because their their night shields came up on my side so that's unfortunate but um okay so i am going to nine quickly because i can't risk it we're we're at that that yolo stage basically um there we ah oh, beautiful okay so i have that um i do want to put him up there go like this and actually let's do this uh this should hold my team back and then yeah i should get some nice ultimates out of storm shaman and my devastator this way so let's hope it plays out that way oh, devastator there we go and unfortunately i don't have like mana regen items uh, I think I only have one. Yeah, I only have a feather dress, so this would look a lot better if I had more mana regen items, but anyways. Uh, so we crushed nuts, and we barely beat uh, the this person, third third from the bottom, Yushio. Uh, from here, I think we sit for a bit and kind of get economy and take stuff as it's given to us. Okay, that is nice. Um, who am I going to switch out for? It becomes a thing. He's kind of served his purpose, to be honest. At this point, I just want the, I want that boom, boom, boom. So he's a three attack range, so he'll pop out to the side. Um, how many assassins are we working with here? We're only working, no, we have two different assassin teams, or teams that have their assassins in there. I think I'm going to switch that. Oh, I didn't get him in the corner, but it's okay. I wanted to get him in the corner in the uh, spirit elemental on the oh devastator doesn't drop his bomb that's unfortunate and oh this might be uh okay no I think we got it I I, def I definitely need to adjust the placement though okay and that's first place so that's the person who's beat me in the last stuff and we're fighting cool and we killed the other person who beat us so that's good that is feeling nice how are their economies doing okay so I'm at nine most of the people are not there's only the one other person at nine. And the eights, I'm looking at their economy to see if it's possible for them to get to nine. Minion round, I don't need to do anything. But anyways, let's adjust my position. Like I was saying, I want to do like this. Um, in this case, I'm going to switch those for the minions. Um, and let's... I want him to eat the damage. I don't want my um, mage, poor, poor mage boys to eat the damage. 
and I was looking at are they going to try to go to nine or what are they going to do? So no, it looks like most of them are going to re-roll. Um, he's weak, feather wise. That's really weak. Having to put two taboo witchers on the board at two star is not what he wants to be doing. And okay, so probably my danger. I don't know. I think my danger may only be the other nine level nine person. He has a lot of one cost, but they're epics. I have one cost too, but they're legendaries. So that kind of becomes the trade off. Curing. Great. Who is this on? Wind Ranger. That's okay. I, I, I can live with that. Um, combine that in. The armor I'm actually going to put here. And let's do like something like. Actually, no. See, my Devastator, when he's getting surrounded, he's not getting his alt off, which is making a issue for me. So let's. Yeah, let's stick with this. Um, yeah, I think that's good. So the assassins. Okay, cool. The devastator should get his alt off because he's not the only. No! Oh my gosh. Okay, but we still win from the other burst, but still. Devastator, I need to get him start up, or I guess I should have put the armor on him instead of Storm Shaman. So maybe I'll switch him in Storm Shaman's place because uh, Storm Shaman can absorb more damage, but yeah. And the main thing is we want to keep our Zeus safe. So actually, I think I should switch my Blight Sorcerer and Zeus too, probably. Um, and then you can see the Wind Ranger putting out really nice damage too. So this is all about those alts and AoE down. So anyways, let's do this. And I think I'm actually going to go to 10 in two rounds. Let's see how these people are. Is anybody going to 9? Yeah, people went. Actually, I'm just going to go. Because for me, my upgrades would be rerolling for legendaries. And I... Yeah, I don't think I really need to. Um, I think this is better because this helps me defend against the assassins. So now I have my tanks, one in the front, one in the back. Um, and just hopefully it'll help me get engagements. No, my Devastator. Yeah, I need to switch his position. Oh, thankfully something dies and he, he got his bomb off. So that's... Thank, thank goodness. But anyways, uh, Warrior Team should go smoothly for this team composition since we are magic based. And yep, that's first place. We crush him, but that's mainly the Devastator. You can see he did 4k damage with his bomb. Um, but that's actually interesting. Devastator is not that good against Warriors because of the fact that his his um, ultimate is physical damage. So they, they mitigate that. Okay, so you can see how close this game is. Um, there is three people who are one bad loss away actually four people who are one bad loss away from losing you can you can lose 15 health i've 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 killed and been killed by more than that by 20 health actually so and in this case i'm just going to basically keep re-rolling from a low spot at this point um sword i can mix in but nah we'll we'll keep going like this okay the devastator i do want because we have seen that if i could have it at two star I'm just not sure. Maybe I should just move it out like this. I think then it doesn't get surrounded. And now it's going to get... Okay, good. Taboo Witcher goes on to my tank. And see, the double tank is working. One front, one back. Because this one's catching the assassins. And this one is grabbing like the aggro from the tanks. And it's making nice space for my mages. So I think that's perfect. Let's look at how we're doing against first place. Ooh, he beat me now. Okay, so that's probably because my... Uh, and see, like a beat like that is I'm out of the game 100%. So, is it why? Did he level or did he upgrade? Becomes our question. Nice. Roll down just to get options, like if I get an egg or something. Um, okay, so he he went to nine. He did that. Um, yeah, it's probably just the silences. So, he's going humans in spot one and three. Humans in one and three. We just fought the assassin. Let's go like that. And okay, so now we're fighting the other Divinity, but this is what? Divinity Warlock. So silence, get your silence off. Okay, Devastator gets his bomb off. Thank you. Good. Cool. Crush him. So there we go. That person. Well, no. What? The, man, this RNG is so crazy. I beat him by nine. He beats me by four. It's just like, uh, okay. Devastator, come on. 
Maybe I should put in another Storm Shaman, to be honest, over my uh, Desperate Doctor. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. Goodbye. Uh, Thunder Hides. Okay, here we go. You, you good old boys catch all that. Um... Yeah, I think that's good. Assassins jump back here, which is fine. Uh, my front's gonna get this. I want to get my silence off quicker. Maybe I should front him in front of my tanks, actually. So we'll 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 attempt that. And if I could make my God of War three star, that'd be really nice. And then switch in my Storm Shaman. Um, but I think we're upgraded enough at this point. So yeah, the other divinity you saw, it's kind of RNG. It based on who gets the silence off. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, that's nice to get. And I will show you why that is nice to get. And what I'm talking about when I say that was nice to get. Uh, okay. So that could be a pair of that, but no, no, thank you. Um, there we go. And these, who cares, really? Okay. So in this case, what I can do is we can do something like this. Maybe I should I put it here? Yeah. Because now he can take damage, which will give him mana quicker. So against the other divinity, nuts. What he, what's going to happen is hopefully he takes damage and then he ults quickly. So yeah, see, he's going to get his ult off really, really quickly, which is good. And then we're fighting nuts, and hopefully we kill nuts. Let's go see how that's going. And yeah, see, I got my ult off first, and that's just GG. Divinity v D Divinity. So anyways, that's the point there. And did this guy have druids the whole time? Okay, man, I, I miss it. I swear, he, he got that lone druid now, I think, right? Like, he didn't, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, nice. Yes. Okay. Um, he does have the magic res. Anyway, silence is on spot one and three. So one and three are silences, so I don't want those there. This case, we know we don't have assassins anymore to worry about. So one and three are silences. So let's go like this. Uh, what do I want to... Yeah. Let's go like that. So they'll grab... Hopefully they ult before Doom. Oh, and I, I mixed up my Storm Shamans. I wanted the, the one with the items to be the closest. So, anyways, Devastator gets that out. Bomb, boom. And next... God of Thunders. Boom, boom. Oh, Wind Ranger. What is that ultimate? Oh my gosh. Wind Ranger, you... Wind Ranger, you disappoint me so heavily. Okay, that formation was terrible. So let's. I just need to beat him badly uh, one time, probably. And let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, you got those to three star. That's fine, though. Um, no. Ooh, the egg. Ooh, the egg is very nice. Because then I can get my um, Zeus. There we go. Okay. So in this case, let's go. This is the one with item. Okay, let's go like that. Yeah. Oh, might as well put it in there. Um, the two-star Zeus is better than two individuals, I think, because uh, it's his ult is just going to hit a lot harder. And burst is what really matters for the... Yeah, so the, the burst is what really matters. I think positioning there helped me too, but the burst. And I don't think he can... I'm not sure he can recover from here. I, I can't really think of... Because he already has Marine. Um, yeah, he already has Marine. He already has basically the things that he could get to attempt to do anything against me. Um, Positioning-wise... Okay, so now he mixed them, the two and three. So right side two. So he's trying to silence my um, Devastator, but I'm going to switch my tank with the Devastator when this match is about to start like so actually let's even front run it like that there we go so now his silence is not on my devastator and my devastator has space because of that gap perfect great ultimate bam 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 that is beautiful from my point of view and it looks pretty damn good from his point of view beautiful beautiful okay i don't want to actually no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say it yet we're just gonna sit okay so one more round uh, oh, Black Dragon, so that gives him a little chance. Oh, uh, there we go. Just looking, right? Um, I could, I'm, I'm thinking of putting in another uh, 
Wind Ranger over him. And actually, in this case, I am going to put it in just because it's Black Dragon. Um, yeah, let's space ourselves out a bit here. Or we're going to be unhappy with the result. Dun, 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 Oh, no. Eh, eh, okay, whatever. Eh, eh. Um, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. He silenced. Bomb. Good. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, on to the last fight. Let's look at his upgrades. So, basically, same things. Um, first, let's get my positioning back here. Boom, 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 boom. We'll decide, we'll decide, we'll decide. Um, nope. Uh, nope. Ooh. Uh, can I buy that? No, I can't. Damn it. And this goes on here. Oh, I can buy that, actually. And... Yeah. Stay that. Okay, so yeah, he's trying to adjust his position, but I'm not sure there's really much he can do. Because it's going to be really hard for it. He has to get his silences on the right spots, and it's just going to be really rough. And then another Zeus just makes it so much burst out of me. So that's that, and bam! We did it! I didn't make a fool of myself. Okay, so that is Empty Fort Strategy. Um, I don't know why they call it. I uh, lose streak. I call it lose streaking. I don't know. I'll stick with that. But um, So anyways, to summarize, because I think th this, once again, I was trying to do is more of a kind of guide to how to do it, or what I've learned. So the key points is you are putting nothing on the board until round 10 which is the golems. You'll try to beat the golems. You should be, your 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 milestone is 40 gold minimum by round 10. Um, then, well, while those first 10 rounds are happening, don't stare at the board. Don't just sit there doing nothing. Look at what the enemies are doing, okay? And the reason you're, what you're looking for is you're looking for what other players are using, what comps they're using. You're looking for um, what pieces you're getting. So for instance, I'm seeing, okay, are, there's a six warrior, there's a six hunter, there's a mage player, there's this, there's that. And then you choose your build that can counter them. Okay. So in this game, remember I chose, I was actually going to try to go six warrior, but I didn't get any of the pieces. So don't be scared to pivot. But still, when I chose divinity mage, I still knew that divinity mage counters what the enemies are doing also. So, so that all comes from watching what the enemies are doing the first 10 rounds. Okay, so then when you choose that, you can still keep your lose streak going, but from round 10 on, you should have pieces on the board. Okay, so round 10, you put on pieces. From then on, you should have pieces on the board. Now, what's important is your reroll strategy. Okay, if you are in, um, if you're going for something like Divinity Mage, where you have a one cost that's very, very important, and there's a lot of other one and two costs that you can use to fill in to make a strong early, like mid game team then re-roll before you level. If you're going for a build that requires a lot of epics, for instance, or not even a lot, or an epic that's very critical. So for instance, Glacier Knights. When I play this and I go Glacier Knights, I go to level eight very quickly. So instead of the re-rolling that I did at level six and seven, I just, I spend money, go to seven, spend money, go to eight. Then I start re-rolling so that I can get my Berserker because he's so crucial to a Glacier Knight build. Uh, Feather Assassin, same thing. But anyways, I think that is a good cover. Uh, we got our points up. And also another point on that, uh, I think King with 200 trophies has been my high. So we are getting back there. And like I said, I dropped all the way down to below 100 trophies. Um, just practicing and learning this and, and kind of refining the nuances out of it. And I definitely don't think I'm anywhere near super proficient with it yet, but you can see the power of it. Um, and anyways, overall, if you look at golds, so I got 299 gold throughout the game. And if you look at everybody else, notice how low they are. That's why I won. Like I won just sheerly out of gold because I had 50 more gold than second place. Right. And if you think about that, like that, that's crazy. 50 more gold is intense when you, he only has 250 gold totally. Right. So I had 20% more gold than him, but anyways, uh, that does it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, or if you are a master of loose streaking and you know you see something that I could do different, please let me know. Um, I'm always looking for new strategies, new econ strat tactics, new tempo things. So if any of you are like great players and you know those things, then you know feel free to share those with me. Anyways, take care. I'll see you all tomorrow.